what we would call broom clean here at Holden Lives. Um, looks like she definitely came through and cleaned the unit up after she moved out. I mean, obviously, as you can obviously see what's going on here, it's a nightmare. She threw everything everywhere, and there's just horrendous smell coming from somewhere, so we're going to have to figure out what that is. I guess these things go too. That mean it's about that time? We're almost done here? No, it's not done. <laughs> Putting this up, it's uh. Name. Yeah, they crush the pace that they're moving. It's, oh, it's, it's insane. Right. It's nice. You seem to be. Jeez, that Ooh, dark. God. Okay, bro. Whoa, whoa. Dude, dude, calm. Okay, I. Why the f are you still hey, filming? Whoa. How about that? You got a new vehicle, huh? You're not driving the Ford Escape that's falling apart no more. It's going to be the door further down on the right hand side down there. The steps that have completely collapsed. Yeah. Man, that's the problem. It's cold. It's a little chilly. Sitting in there for too long. Oh. That's new. And do around here, you can see. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. You just gotta learn how to hold your hand real slow. Man, I, no, there's no way. No ha! way. I found one for like 500 bucks. That That's like, not too bad. That's doable. So least. I'm thinking about doing that. Like the extra 200 bucks, I was like, yeah, I'm good. You guys got one more you're going to Colburn or is that? No, nah, we did Colburn first and it was pretty much empty. So everything I filmed today has been it empty like units. Too. Yeah. That's all y'all needed? Yeah, thank you, hon. Appreciate it. Have a nice night. You too, now. No. Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. They can start over by mooching off of somebody else for a while. It's already a good sign we got smashed bugs on the inside part of the door. Yeah, that's how you know they took care of the property real good for you. Don't, uh, don't touch anything. I'm not touching nothing. Okay. I even put gloves on. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, be real careful. I'd uh, I'd uh, tie vex up too before you touch anything. Yeah, they took like three loads out of here. What they take? It was um, it was yeah, pretty. What did they take? It was pretty piled up. Oh, that's the bathroom. I didn't think this unit had a bathroom. Police department. Radio 703, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 
Let's see if we can afford to sue anyone. I don't oh, think, yeah, yeah, I haven't I think, been. Uh, not much in there, but a mess. Make sure you, you lean good the other way. Yeah. Are they, oh my gosh, yeah, I already see. Holy crap, who put these stairs up? If you look at the cracking right here, you can see it's pulling away. Wow, we'll have that. Hold up, there's my original notice from like, Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. Get that floor in there. Would that would that what wood about to fall in? Well, we have to go back up that way. But I'm getting the uh, the bathroom walk right now, and then I have to go back and get that outlet. Go knock Almost, on the yeah. Video camera. Noodle, go knock on the door. Ask Bam. Let them see his basement. Keep it because Keila said she's gonna give me her key. I was gonna move my stuff over there. Yeah. Let them see his basement. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, I go to the apartment and there's like a trail of bread crumbs except it bread crumbs except it's shit and it's just like he pooped his pants and it was running down his leg and you could see like everywhere he stopped all the way back from uh, the gas station down the street all the way up to the front of the apartment. You know, he must have uh, filled with his key for a little bit at the front door because there's a bunch there. Your landlord, she provided us a whole slew of photographs of the home and I, I on move out day. And I got to say, the, the house looked pretty, pretty rough. It was in pretty, pretty tough shape. You guys tore well, that home up. It, 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 was, it was, but it was pretty rough when we moved in too. They never fixed anything. Can you elaborate on that? Um, well, we didn't have a stove for the first eight months. No stove, no dishwasher. Um, I've got I've got pictures and um, and lists of everything that was wrong with the house, and they never really fixed any of it. Um, about eight months later, they got the stove fixed. Uh, the deck, my uh, son fell through the deck once, and my daughter fell through it once. They knew it was bad. They never replaced it. There was a hole that went from the bathroom to the outside that was there when we moved in and we've been trying to get them to fix it for forever and a few months ago they came in and threw a piece of plywood over it and they know it's all rotten out under there the joists are rotten and everything uh the kitchen floor is rotted underneath and that's been that way since day one the laundry room door was kicked in the laundry room door had been kicked in and never fixed it was never lockable the window fell out on the main. Yeah, and the window um, in the one bedroom fell out and hit, the ba hit, hit my granddaughter in the head, and that's still not fixed. We put a piece of plywood up that night, and they never came and fixed it. What we would call broom clean here at Holden Wise. Um, looks like she definitely came through and cleaned the unit up after she moved out. I mean, obviously, as you can obviously see what's going on here. It's a nightmare. She threw everything everywhere. And there's just horrendous smell coming from somewhere. So we're gonna have to figure out what that is. I don't know if it's like the fridge or what. Basically, a lot of times when someone will get evicted, they will just wreck a unit, throw everything, break stuff. So it doesn't get used by anyone else or whatever. Come in here and get a close-up of this too. So like, you'll a lot of times find like old clothing, obviously, right? But those are like moldy socks. Um, I mean, that's a pretty good way to get hepatitis. So you gotta glove up before you come into these units because there's a lot of biohazards.
Well, I mean, when they steal from us, yeah. No, 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 no. You're the abuser. You're over here on my property. You're harassing me. I'm on my property, and, and you're stealing from me. That's why I'm here, remember? Like, my house, you live there, but you're stealing. Like, you're stealing. No, you're but stealing from me. None of this shit works. Then why don't you move out? I'm trying. Believe me. Bro. For the last fucking time, don't call me your fucking bro. <coughs> Dude. I'm a woman. I, I get it. I'm literally just trying to reason with you. So we can you're get you off, you're gonna piss me off. So we can get you out of here peacefully and you're not making the situation any worse, bro. This is like literally You're a fucking abuser. Okay. You're a, you you hate women? No. You're a fucking abuser. I don't know what that has to do with anything that me and you have to do with. I don't You know, in fact you're aggressive and you're scared of this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, but I, you gotta so are you just not gonna pay then? We're just not doing this. You're just I have to come back w with the, the cops and I have to take I have to take your kids' beds and stuff out of the house. Yeah, here I'll have my people talk to your people and then we'll figure it all out. Once my baby daddy's home, we'll go from there. I, I don't think he's coming, but Fuck. okay. All right. So seriously, like I get it. Like you're slamming the door. You're shut you're shutting the door today, right? But like literally. After this, you're not gonna have the ability to shut the door. We're gonna come in, so can we just work this out. I would fucking take the door with me if you're gonna kick my ass out of here. God, this fucking girl, bro. Hey, we can get together. I'm smelling. Uh, yo, it's mostly poop. It's cool. <laughs> man. Oh, man. The toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. Look at this lovely piece of shit right here. How did the clothes not catch fire? Good question. Mandalorian, baby. Oh, that whole area up there is fucked. I think that's for insulin. JK. <laughs> yeah, man. Be careful where you're stepping. Broke nettles. Oh, this was the that's laundry. That's where all the insulin they've been taking. These guys smoke the same uh, vapes as uh, our boy. Because there's just needles everywhere, dude. Where? Right next to your oh, foot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right under your foot. Look at that, dude. Next to your other foot. I'm going to get out of this room. Yeah, it's a lot probably, of probably good idea. It's a lot of needles. Yeah. yeah. You still got the paperwork here. It's, I mean, it's, it's something like if James is talking and he needs something to like Instead of like showing him, to show some of this stuff. Right, that's kind of where we are. We're just, we could have, probably have to move along with like an eviction process of some, some sort. I don't think so, because unit number one says she does not live there. She just stays there. All her property is in a non-residential area. Because those little, uh, you know, uh, wardrobe or, you know, storage or something cannot be considered a, uh, a residence. A residence, not a living space. Right, yeah. right. The rest Vince. I get to redo the lock because I didn't know that 
basement door was open slash there. I didn't know there was a door at the top of the steps. I know she left her ID. I was about to pick it up. You see under by your left foot there on the inside? Do you see that nice little weed pen they left? Oh, this thing? Yep. Yeah. Which is a cheap internet one. It's a head pen. Not that I would know anything about that. No, that's just everything I heard about. That's the thing I heard about on the internet. We've been talking to you guys, you, whoever. Not me. No, We've been talking no. to you guys for like three fucking weeks. What I'm trying to tell you is we're not doing that anymore. This is literally... I don't know you. What's your name? James. I'm the owner of Holton Wise. This is literally the last time anyone is ever going to talk to you. Like, you don't know me. You don't know him. Dude. What the fuck's so funny? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? It's, it's just like you, you seem to be... Jeez. That Ooh, dark. God. Okay, whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa. Dude, dude, calm. Okay, I... Why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me? Whoa, whoa, don't touch the camera. Right, look. Okay, Kristen. Co all right, calm down. Hey, whoa, whoa, Hey. Okay. I get it. You are mad. I understand. You are you are angry, but like... Lip, I, I'm, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually trying to help you right now. Because again... I'm trying to help you. No, I don't want the, the whole eviction thing to transpire. Because that is going to suck. especially this is garbage. Especially for the Throw kids. We're talking about. But like, if you hit me, like... You can't... <coughs> you can't... You can't hit me. You can't hit the camera, dude. Okay? Like, I get it. But... Same thing. Like, I'm going to have to cut this short. We're going to have to roll. But literally... I have to give you this notice. You have three days... I gotta have the full 950. If I don't have it in the three days, I file with the courts, and then a little bit later, the cops and my movers, they're coming. I won't be there that day. You know what? Get the fuck out of here. There's nobody that's gonna be able to argue with you, and, and they're just, they're gonna come in. Bye. They're, they're coming in. All right, dude, come on. Seriously, like, that's not fucking doing anything. Can we just fucking resolve this? Dude, are you could, still doing could we just you're a woman of uh, you okay bro could we just dude, get the fuck out of here dude could we just fucking resolve this is the fire at 88 that's sad came all the way up the hallway here board up window melted smoke detector Handprints on the wall. This kitchen fridge is melted. Fucking walls are gone. Just everything gone. Fuck. Door and shit. Looks like we got pretty much everything. Oh, yeah, that was the end of it. Boom. Dang, that sucker's pretty. The spider crawling up right there. All right, we're gonna take a couple more pictures though, so hold on. Yeah, no, 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 you're good. I'm just trying to get out of the weird murder basement. We're not trying to uh, have a seizure. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. We're at Trace Leche. Oh man. We're at three milks? Yeah. Where's the, is that the switch for upstairs? I don't know, it's creepy. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Well, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, it's like they purposely move things into the way. So there's that. Are you saying that these people weren't super helpful? Nope. Dude, do not 
enter police order. Uh, I guess they did get a uh, notice that said that they were being evicted, so. I guess that counts as police order. Oh, this is exactly how I left it when I did the uh, vacancy check. Yeah, light on you? Yeah. What is all of that? Is that just dirt? Ooh, it looks, it looks like, like feces. Let me get in there. I think there's a little bit of poo. You've been here, but do you know where the basement is? Is it a uh, common man, access? Or I don't think it, it has common access. It's through that middle unit. Or there's a back door. Yeah, I'll show you. For the basement? Yeah. yeah. Back door. Yep. Wait, the PIN number? Uh, three oh shit, there's a fucking door. There was a door here. And like, oh, they probably rented it when it looked like the. Who? I know, that flytrap did the Lord's work for God only knows how long. You get me. I put it on this one so that I can forget about it and back into it. Some poopy stained undies. Hell yeah, dude. That's. What happened? Right as I said that, we stopped filming. Look at those nice shit-stained fancy underwear. Does that mean it's about that time? We're almost done here. No, it's not done. <laughs> Putting this up, it's uh, it's kicking butt and taking names. Yeah, they crush the pace that they're moving. It's, oh, it's, it's insane. Nice. It's nice. So this is out. This door is upstairs. Yeah. Right yeah, we'll change the well. We'll take that handle off and change the deadbolt, and then we'll change the deadbolt upstairs too. Mm -hmm. Chris, you gotta take that all the way down. It's too heavy. All right. You know what? You can take it all the way to the front and take it a minute, a couple minutes to break it back. Oh, I meant upstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it's, hey, it's but no, you probably good. Like the... Oh, it's Cleveland. Let's see. Their own homies. Oh, they just came to make sure we weren't putting the stuff on the sidewalk. Uh, the tenant that lives there is a fucking piece of shit, right? Like, let's not make any qualms about this. This tenant is a fucking asshole. Now, only has this tenant not paid rent um, since June, right? So I already went over that at length, right? June, July, August, September, October. But on top of that, uh, we get nothing but complaints. Uh, from the rest of the neighbors and the neighbor that actually lives in there. So now they're giving him a state charge. He didn't even leave the facility though. Hmm. I said, okay, well let me call you back for one second. Um, all the stuff in the basement, it's not mine. The other washer and the, like, everything else, and we're just almost done with upstairs. So. Okay. Yes, good. Uh, try. I'm trying. No, it's good. Fucking yeah. hungry and high and tired and I shit. Get it. No, it's night and day different than it was. So yeah, yeah that's really yeah. good. It's cool. I'm trying, you know. Sure. Cool. I appreciate it, you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, your brother's uh, in charge of an adult, Joshua. You're giving him a cake charge. Everyone saw that? Huh? Yeah, everyone saw that coming. Oh, no, I guess he just walked in the thing. Ten bucks for fully saturated underwear. What do you think this is supposed to be a scarf? Oh wait, it's actually like a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's like this lady crochet. Not very good. All her shit's fucking tangled. Stupid, <laughs> stupid idiot. Is this the art you're talking about? Yeah, hell yeah. I think that's the doll from the Rugrats. I know. I was gonna say that. I can't think of the name. Is <laughs> it looks just like it's fucking perfect, dude. I'll leave that right there for now. I am real curious about what's in the box, though. What's in the box? We can snoop. 
Yeah, I feel like we should. Uh, I mean, we're here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy too. Oh, please don't be a dead animal. I'll be real upset. Is that just water? I think it's a box of water. You want a box of water? You want to pull it open for me? So I can get your live reaction. It smells bad. It does smell really bad. Ah. Uh, oh, it's a dog bed. It's a dog bed covered in water. Who does that? I don't know. When I when I pinched it open a little bit, I saw the brown and was like, oh no, it is a dog. Oh man. Good times. Tenant just texted us and told us that uh, they ordered some DoorDash and the driver ran over their mailbox. I told you to leave and you're over here creeping around on my property, checking me out. You don't fucking get laid, do you? You fucking pussy. You don't get any pussy. You know, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fat bastard? And what the fuck are you doing? You still hey, filming whoa, whoa, whoa. me? What the fuck? Don't touch the camera. Yo, scumbags, fuck you. I'm never gonna stop filming. You know, this is fucking illegal. This is disgusting. You're a fucking scumbag. You don't get leader, you fucking loser. What the fuck's wrong with you? You know what? Here. You kinda need that. Get the fuck off my property before I call the police. Okay, I'm gonna leave, but again. Yes. If I leave, the next time anyone is coming here, it's with the cops. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Let's pray something out, please. You don't have to do this. I know you're not an asshole. Right. I, I would love to work something out. Okay? I get it. I want to work something out. But what I got to work out with you is literally you have to pay it in three days. Look, I thought we agreed on Wednesday. We thought Wednesday was going to be cool for that 375. 950. You know, fuck you, fuck piece of shit. Okay. Fuck you, get the fuck off my property. You're crazy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> yes. That's the one. And this one's just a smiley face. Nice scene. Nice scene. Um. I don't know. Well, like a s something though. Something. A couple people shooting guns at each other at the beach. Crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. Well, <laughs> another successful eviction. I like that they didn't put it on the door, they put it on the mailbox. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.